We're here at the Oshwigan Speedway with rookie Thunderstock competitor Corey Turner. And Corey, big night tonight. Tony Stewart's in the pits, but uh, it's a points night for the Thunderstocks, and you got to concentrate on that as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we w obviously we want to put the car in victory lane, but uh, at the same time we want to have a good solid run, like like we try to do every every week here at the Big O. Well, tell us how you got involved in racing. We know, of course, Jamie Turner pretty well. He's been in the sprint car division for two years now. Before that, he was a big modified racer. But uh, you kind of came in here kind of sort of an unknown, and uh, you've done really well. You're leading the rookie standings right now in the top ten in the overall points. And uh, just tell the fans where you came from. Um, yeah, well, my dad's dad, Don Turner, he uh, he ran modifies for 40 years out at Merrittville and Speedway Park before that. And uh, on the other side, my uh, my my other grandfather, Ed Plaza, he raced uh, asphalt and dirt out of Cayuga and other tracks like that. And then my two uncles raced uh, Frank and Joe Plaza. And then uh, my dad's brother, he raced as well, Todd Turner. And uh, yeah, so I've been around the racetrack for as long as I can remember. So it's good to finally come here with a car. It feels good. What made you decide to finally get behind the wheel instead of just being a, f a fan or a, or a crewing on a car? Uh, I've always wanted to race, and I finally got the financial commitment, finished school, so got that out of the way, so it's time to go racing. This car came from the Jeremy, Jeremy Bean Stable, pretty strong car. Um, what led you to getting that car as opposed to building a new one or, or, or whatever? And also, what made you choose the Thunderstocks as opposed to some other division? Um, well, we knew... Jeremy Bean's car just happened to be for sale. We knew instead of building a car, we wanted to buy a car and maybe improve it a little bit, see what we could do with respect to that. Um, Thunderstock Division is one of the most competitive divisions. Um, it's pretty affordable, you know. Obviously, if you're going to go racing, you're going to spend money, but at the same time, it's uh, it's a really competitive class. There's probably 10, 12 guys any any night of the week that can win. Um, and also, I can take this car to Merrillville or Humberstone Speedways, go and race there. So there's a lot of racing that we can do, can be done in this class. What uh, Do you have any long-term goals for racing, or is it just sort of out here having fun, or do you think you're going to be looking to do something else in the, f in the future? Um, for now, and probably a couple years down the road, we'll be in this division. Um, I know my brother, he wants to get into a car, so maybe we'll see him soon. Uh, and one day I want to climb behind the wheel of a sprint car, hopefully, so we'll see how that goes. Well, you got a lot of help that uh, gets you here to the track every week. Who do you want to thank? Uh, first and foremost, I got to thank my dad and my uh, my grandma, and then my Grammy and Papa as well. Without them, also my mom, she tapes all my races, so she's a, she's a huge help. Um, I got to thank all my crew, my dad's crew, um, Bert, Jeff, Scott, John, um, uh, my brother, especially Connor, Reed, Haley, all all the people that come to the track with me every week, uh, all winter. Jeff Beam and Bert and myself and uh, Scott, my dad worked on this car usually three nights a week so I really got to thank them without them I wouldn't be here for sure. Well lastly I'm going to put you on the spot just a little bit here we do have Tony Stewart in the pits racing the sprint car and uh, put your fan hat back on here for a minute and give us a prediction do you think Tony's going to win or do you think one of the locals are going to win? Uh, I think one of the locals are going to are going to beat Tony tonight that's that's my prediction I don't know he isn't I haven't seen him with the big O before, so we'll see. And there's there's some good local drivers right now. Jimmy Hoopinen's running really good. Mikey Crash should go one uh, last week, so he's going to have his hands full. There he is, Corey Turner, getting ready for a Thunderstock race here on Tony Stewart night at Shrieken Speedway. For OntarioOval.com, I'm Tommy Gooch.